Hey y'all, it's Shotney. So today I am bringing you guys a video. I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my strawberry cream savers themed lip gloss. Yes, this will be the very first time I've ever done a lip gloss like this. I haven't created a lip gloss inspired by anything. And here I'm seeing on YouTube, a lot of girls are getting very creative with the lip glosses they are coming up with. So I decided to challenge myself and I haven't seen anyone do the savers just yet. I'm not sure if there is indeed a video here on YouTube just yet, but I know this is what I wanted to recreate. So yes, I am here with something brand new for my YouTube channel. I absolutely think you guys will love the creation after it is finished. I definitely had a great time creating this lip gloss. It really didn't take me as long as I thought it would. Probably because I had got a good feel of what I needed to do prior to starting it. So here you are seeing me pour out my TKB training lip gloss base this is the versagel speaking of tkb trading have you guys seen that they have created brand new gloss bases i literally just recently checked their website and they have about two or three other options other than the versagel to create their lip gloss with so y'all know of course i had to order a few so we can test them out here on my channel so be on the lookout for that coming very soon. But if you were paying attention, I did make three separate bowls of Versagel and I mixed all three with my oil of choice. And I chose to do three separate colors. This first one is a red, of course. I did use my TKB Red Oxide Lip Liquid, I believe. And of course you can't have an inspired lip gloss without it actually smelling like what it is inspired by. So I got a lip, well, it isn't a lip, but it's a fragrance oil I purchased from GetSuckered.com. It is called Strawberry Cream. So yes, not only does these lip glosses look like that candy, it smells like it too. So you're pretty much getting the full experience of this inspired gloss. As you can see, I did move on to the pink shade. I also use another liquid coloring from TKB Trading. I can't remember what the name of that coloring was, but I will either put it on the screen or link it in the description if you plan on recreating this lip gloss yourself. This last shade I'm mixing is just a plain white. Um, I pretty much did the same thing for all three shades except change up the color. So I created the same kind of formula. I put the flavoring oil in each batch as well as I made the same amount of each batch so there was an equal amount of all three colors So here you guys are seeing me pour a little bit of this holographic glitter into my pink shade. I did want the pink shade to stand out a little bit more other than the red and white for some reason. And adding that little touch of glitter did just that for me. So here I'm pretty much showing you guys a closer look of my lip gloss tubes. Just for those that isn't familiar with the tubes that I use. I do have squeeze tubes as well, but this gloss will be specifically for my wand tubes so here you are pretty much seeing me suck up all three colors in the syringe but i'm doing it a little different so as you see i'm going back and forth between all three colors usually when making lip gloss you will put the lip gloss inside of the syringe by the top of it you will take the push part out and you will literally pour it in top of the syringe to fill it up but with this method, I wanted to create that marble effect inside of lip gloss tubes. So I had to do it a little different. Instead of pouring it inside of the syringe, I had to suck it up into the syringe. So as you can see, that is an up close look of what the inside of that syringe looks like. Pouring all three shades at the top of the syringe wouldn't give you that effect, which makes this method the best for what I'm trying to create. 
So as you guys see, I am filling these lip gloss tubes up, but in a circular motion because that will also help that marble look I'm going for. Um, this is the very first tube I filled up. As you can see, it was a little more white than there was pink and red, but as I continue to go on, the tubes did come out a little more mixed. So as you can see on camera, no tube is exactly the same. Literally every single tube is different and unique in its own way. And to be honest, I kind of like that about this project. So now I have every single two filled up with this shade, y'all, and I'm absolutely in love with how they turned out. So here you are seeing me pretty much just wipe off the rim of the lip gloss tube, put in the lip gloss stopper, and then the cap. So make sure you guys do leave enough room for the wand to insert inside the tube. If you have made lip gloss before, I'm sure you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you are new to this, when it comes to filling up your lip gloss tubes, try to refrain from filling them all the way up to the top. That way, when you enter that wand in like I'm doing now, it won't push back out on you because you filled it up with too much product. So here you guys are pretty much just seeing me put the wand in every single tube. And after that, girl, we are done. And it is time to promote, market, and talk about it. Now it is time to go in and clean each individual tube off with some alcohol because by now each tube is pretty much sticky and filthy after trying to fill up each tube of course with that Versagel. That Versagel is a super sticky mess and we don't want that when it comes time to pack these lip glosses up and ship them off to our customers. That is the very last thing we want. So here you guys are pretty much seeing me take a cotton pad. I completely soak the cotton pad in rubbing alcohol and I am wiping down each tube with this cotton pad. Some like to use hot soapy water to wash all their tubes in. Of course, that is something I do before I fill the tubes up to sanitize them. But as far as putting the tubes back inside of soapy water, I don't like doing it after I fill my tubes for some reason. So rubbing them down with alcohol is the best way for me. All right, y'all, so this is how the lip glosses, the lip glosses, look, I can't talk. This is how the lip glosses came out. Tell me what y'all think. How do you like them? I absolutely love this. Of course, I'm going to show you guys a swatch of how they look. That is coming up right now. Aren't these just so beautiful? All right, y'all, so of course, I had to do a lip swatch. Here, I'm showing you I'm using my Cherry Pop Lip Liner. This is a red lip liner that is available on my site as well. And I am lining my lips with this color. For some reason, I gravitated towards the red shade more so than a brown lip liner. Probably because we literally use brown lip liner for everything. So I wanted to show you guys something that was a little different by pairing this red lip liner with this soft baby pink toned gloss. And you guys, literally, it is everything. I definitely see myself 
wearing this lip out. I see myself wearing this lip to dinner. This lip was absolutely everything. This lip gloss will be available for purchase on February 11th at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss the next one. I'll see you later.